Hi guys, it's me Roxy and this time I'm back with the Perry Paris Fashion People Carrier Case and this is the New York edition. So basically what this little package is meant to do is that it is meant for travel purposes and it's meant to give you a full face of makeup. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out, check how it works, so let's get started. So like always, I'm starting with the packaging. This case comes in a clear plastic box and in the back it says that the purpose of this product is to eliminate bulkiness when traveling and it comes with three lip tints, concealer and a contour slash eyeshadow in one. So these are the shades it comes in, you will see them later. And I just want to mention that this is a fully functional suitcase uh, made out of plastic. It rolls, it does 360s. And it's just a miniature case. So I know the suitcase looks a little bland like this, but it does come with a sticker sheet. And like I said, this is the New York edition. And it is it comes with New York sticker styles. And you just basically decorate however you want. This is the fun part of it. But it is hard to decide where you want them. And you want to try and make sure they fit. But once they do, you're good to go. Inside you find all of the good stuff which is all the little products it comes with and I just want to mention that these are basically sample sized items. They are basically samples but this is what makes them travel friendly as you can see that's the comparison between other sample sizes of lip tints I have gotten so they are pretty small so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them out to see how they are. So first off I'm starting with the shading slash eyeshadow multi ink and the swatch for this one is like a mocha coffee color or almost like a cappuccino and this formula is very smooth. The next up is the concealer and as you can see it is also a um, creamy style formula and it is a, la a lighter style consistency but once more you can see it does have some good coverage. Next up is the Ink Velvet in So Grapefruit. This one is also another brush applicator and the color is more of an orangey style and it is very blendable to make softer looks. The next one is the Elf Light Rose Ink Airy. I really love this formula. It dries in like a very soft matte. It looks super feathery, super pretty and super blendable. As you can see right here, it has mattified. The next one that I will be showing you is the last one, the Vivid Tint Water, and this is in the flavor, I mean the color Apple Squeeze. And I do want to mention that this one is extremely watery, a little goes a long way, and I'm pretty sure this one can be used as blush as well. Also, like I mentioned, it is super blendable, which is why I assume it can be used as blush. And here is a quick picture of the swatches themselves. So now I'm gonna go ahead and test them out in my face. So stay tuned for the face test. So this picture was taken before I tried on any of the products. And I just wanna mention that I will be using the help of my stripper brush because I needed to spread some of the colors out like the concealer. And I just wanna mention you can use your fingers but I prefer the brush. And this concealer can actually be used in the whole face. As a matter of fact, it is advertised as for the whole face. So let's go ahead and test that out and see how it goes. So as I was applying this, I just wanted to mention that a little does go a long way. For example, in my in this eye that I'm covering right here, it ended up covering like my cheek as well. So then I just went ahead and did my whole face like a little bit goes a long way in reality i use i think like probably nine or twelve little dots and i the coverage is super smooth i really liked how the coverage was done well it doesn't look cakey at all and so next up i'm gonna go ahead and try the little shader and i'm gonna use this as eyeshadow as well so i'm gonna try to go ahead and shade in the contour spots that people normally shade in which would be the nose the side of the temples and the bottom jaws and as you can see right here i am blending it in it's not super noticeable in the camera but i mean maybe it's meant to be like subtle so i'm also gonna go ahead and try it out as an eyeshadow because we want some color on the eyes and it is a very creamy mocha style color it's not too bad i actually liked it because it does give you a very natural look as you can see this is what it does and how it looks and it blends in pretty nicely and it looks very natural looking up next i used a little liquid tint 
and I used this as a blusher. I was gonna go ahead and use it as a blusher because I know there are water blushers out there in the KB world. And as I applied it uh, once more, a little does go a long way. And I had a nice little glowy cheeks going on. It did not look bad. It like it looked pretty darn good. And next up, I will be doing the Airy Ink Perry. And as you can see, it, right away it does tend to mattify, but I love the formula once more because it just looks so feathery, just love it how it doesn't look cakey, doesn't look super strong, looks great for every day. Up next, I did try the ink velvet on my eyes just to add more color. I was like, why not? Because I mean, the, the shader itself is a creamy formula and this is sort of similar, so I just went ahead and applied some to the outer corner of my eyes just to have a little bit more color and difference uh, in gradation and I actually liked it, it was very subtle, it wasn't sticky at all. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the final look, the final outcome as a whole. Did it give me a good face of makeup? It actually did. I actually thought it was pretty nice. It is very smooth, it's very nice, it looks kind of airy. It's a pretty good combo overall, good for short traveling tips trips in my opinion and I am 100% satisfied and stay tuned for my final thoughts. So hey guys, it's me Roxio and I'm back to talk a little bit about the pair 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 case on my final thoughts. I think it's pretty good for the people um, who are around the skin tone. I mean on me it looks a little bit whiter than usual. But other than that, I would say it's kind of fun. The formulas seem to be rather smooth. They apply really smoothly and it's pretty much, they're very soft. You can feel it on there. My main concern about this whole thing is that this itself is very bulky. Like, I know we're traveling, but come on, cuteness aside, you can easily take these out of the case and stash them like a bot in a little teeny weeny bag like this big. So I mean, they're good for carrier size travels, but in the end, we gotta remember that these are just samples. You can easily get, get the sample versions, I'm sure you can. Um, so yeah, I think it's pretty good, but it's not good for the price because in reality you're paying $20 plus simply before the plastic case. If that's what you're into, then that's pretty cool. This is what you're going to be getting. It's fully functional. So yeah. yeah. I also forgot to mention that if you plan on using the Pear Pear case, you will have to take a, some sort of brush or sponge with you. My best bet will be the stripper brush. The stripper brush tends to give you an airbrush look and it spreads the product very evenly. So yeah, don't forget about yeah. that. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Rock it. I was about to say that do not forget that you can now follow me on Instagram.com. All you have to do is search for Roxio.space and follow me for updates on K-Beauty sneak peeks and upcoming reviews for my YouTube channel. And just to end it, here's a before and after picture on the Perry Paris travel case outcome. And that's all I have for you guys today. Stay tuned for more. Like and subscribe. Roxio is out.